what can you tell us about the show about your character Deepak who is he um from the trailer what we've seen it looks very interesting um it's also got a lot of love ever since it's released so yeah it is a love story um, set against the backdrop of the um the political struggle um, that was going on in and around bihar in a certain part of bihar around that time uh, essentially it's a struggle between the upper and the lower caste and uh, the ultra left um, ultra left wing um, uh, who we casually call naxalites they pick, they picked up the cause of the uh, injustice that was for decades being served towards the lower caste and they started fighting on their behalf which resulted in a lot of violence uh, and counter violence and retaliation and counter retaliation all of that um so deepak kumar my character happens to be one of the most dreaded and the most sought after and one of the best commanders of the naxal army um and uh, the naxalites and it, the jahanabad the show kind of revolves around uh, what happens to this man although in terms of screen time i think there are other characters like rithvik's character Uh, or for that matter rajat sir rajat kapoor's character they have more screen time but i mm-hmm. think uh, what made me feel very great the moment i heard the story was the fact that whatever was happening in the show was happening because of this particular character's presence um mm-hmm. so it's pivoted around deepak kumar which is great and does the show warm up to uh, naxals does it take a political stand as such no it does not it 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 looks at it to it looks at the entire chapter through a prism of uh, an observer where you know you see that um how um uh, you see the perspective of both sides and you also understand that violence is never the way the show takes a look at the entire social um, timber the social situation at that point in time without taking any sides and since the show uh, jahanabad is inspired uh, from real events Uh, from a jailbreak that happened in 2005 so uh, did you <coughs> right. shoot um inside a real prison yeah we did we did extensively did extensively i mean uh, my part majority of the part that i have shot um is inside a pri- inside a prison and we shot in a real prison uh, it was mm-hmm. kind of weird actually uh, shooting day in day out and we had a lot of night shoots so like spending mm-hmm. nights in prison inside the prison it's on the prison ground sometimes in the cells it was uh, sometimes a little dark very honestly dark in the sense mentally a little upsetting because you know prisons are not places where people go of their own volition or very willingly right uh, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of sadness a lot of wrath a lot of anger um, that sort of roams around the walls that that bounces off the walls of the prisons the prison houses so it was sometimes a little um intense sometimes even depressing actually if you could what prison was this uh, this was a prison in bhopal mm. and how long did the shoot in that area last i shot for almost 20 days there wow did that leave yeah. an imprint on you shooting i think it prison? did actually yeah i think it did it kind of um, it does something to you yeah i can't really articulate what exactly but it did lead some kind of an impact on me i think for now we've seen you in a lot of ott shows um this is a comment i want from you in in terms of how consumption patterns have changed uh, over the past years everything kind of it does there's been so much of content got to see the streamers how do you feel about that as an artist and as a consumer i think it is just given uh, the audience as well as the artists creators actors directors uh cinematographers music directors every writers everyone uh, uh you know newer is newer avenues to explore newer subjects mm-hmm. uh it's it's a win win for both the audience and well the the creators i think uh i mean to to put it very shortly that's what that's how i look at it uh they're getting a lot of global recognition uh, we've just seen that we've uh, won an oscar not for rrr uh the popular song natu natu has people making reels all over the world people are really enjoying yeah. dancing to it yeah. uh i think then um uh, this time actually uh, for oscar in in the feature category international feature category is a gujarati film the last film so a lot of these films are gaining world recognition not that people do not know about the indian films but uh, even more so now how do you feel about it? 
it's great it's fantastic uh, i do think that there has been an explosion from south you know in the in the 60s um, the american uh, uh, pop music scene was invaded by rock bands and pop bands from britain from england they used to in britain britain invasion um uh, similarly i think indian cinema in the last 3 years especially post pandemic has seen a or since the pandemic has seen the indian content scene has seen uh, an explosion uh, from down south yeah. um the industries which were already big they've become bigger and they have sort of uh, uh, become pan indian now uh, and the industries which were small smaller like the malayalam industry they have a big time with so i'm looking forward to and content making so i'm also looking forward uh, to that same similar kind of explosion happening from bengal as well although uh, there has been a bit of a plateauing in the last few years in the bengali content scene uh, there is some new energy which is asking to be uh, you know to be uh, sort of uh, asking to come up come out and explore onto the um, indian scene which i'm which i'm sure will happen and we are also trying to find out uh what are the problems and why we're not being able to do that and what can make us also uh you know come up with such kind of content so it's overall holistically speaking it makes me happy and nothing else you made your hindi film debut with kanthan uh and then uh, post that it's been one sub of film uh when is the next when we will see you in another mega blockbuster hindi film oh that's for the producers and the directors to say but yeah i just finished to i've just I've just finished two films. Uh, I just did a, a film, a beautiful little uh, social comedy called Notary. Uh, was produced by Kash Entertainment, Shabir Bakshwala, and um, that was a beautiful film. And uh, uh, then uh, I did another supernatural thriller called The Walker House. I am looking forward to many such um, uh, good scripts in the in the near future. Are there any uh, Hollywood projects also in the pipeline? और